the region. Most of this um, this rain system is starting to fall apart as it reaches the shoreline, which is then bringing us those spotty showers. A couple of these showers could redevelop over the next couple of hours, bringing the chances for a couple of rumbles of thunder. But for now, a majority of it looks to be just rain with some partly cloudy skies. That rain chance is moving in um, from Wisconsin. It was there earlier this morning, moved across the lake, and now we're starting to see it move in here. But let's track it. It is going to start to move through very quickly um, throughout the day. A couple of those um, pockets where we could get the rumbles of thunder mostly dissipating by early Friday morning. Now, Friday and this weekend is what we have to definitely look forward to. That cloud cover on Friday morning is going to slowly dissipate throughout the day, bringing us some pretty clear skies headed into Friday afternoon and Friday evening into the weekend. But we've got plenty to look forward to today, like those temperatures. They will start to rise. 80 degrees is the high for today. Mostly cloudy. A couple of us could get those chances of showers and just a couple rumbles of thunder paired with those thunder storms for tonight though temperatures dip back down into the 60s looks like 63 is going to be our low couple chances of those lingering showers but headed into the weekend and especially friday we are going to start to see those clouds dissipate bringing us that sunshine now that sunshine is what we have to look forward to all weekend. We just have to get through these showers today before we can enjoy those sunny skies. We actually haven't had a sunny, an entire sunny weekend for the last three weeks, and we're finally going to get it this weekend. Temperatures mainly in those 80s, 82 on Saturday, and then even 85 by Sunday. We are going to see another system start to roll in early next week, bringing us chances of showers and thunderstorms to kick off your work week. What I do want to point out, though, is that all of these temperatures during the daytime as well as our overnight lows are pretty average around this time of year. We're usually around 80 degrees for a high and 60 degrees for a low. It does look a little bit warmer as we hit next week, but those temperatures will start to even.